Hello everybody, I hope you're all very well. I'm super excited today because I get to share with you Real Vending Machine Creator, which is now available on the Unreal Marketplace. And if you want to take a look, the link is down in the description. I'm going to go over a few features. If you want the full list, take a look on the Marketplace. And then straight after that, I'm going to give you a brief intro on how to set one of these up. So what is Real Vending Machine Creator? Real Vending Machine Creator allows you to create unlimited vending machines to populate your game world quickly and easily. And not only that, it has a very powerful config system that you can share between levels and even projects and even store your configs in Perforce. So let's take a look. This is the demo scene and we have five example machines set up here. If I jump into simulate mode, the machines will be populated with items that I have preset in the items config, which we're going to get into in just a second. So you may be wondering, how do you make a purchase from one of these machines? So there's two ways to make a purchase. Firstly, I should point out items are arranged in alphanumeric rows. So we've got A, B, C, D, and E, and we've got 0, 1, 2, and 3. So to make a purchase, there's two ways. I've included a BP make purchase in the demonstration level. And all you have to do, ideally you would implement this logic into your pawn or into another blueprint that allows the player to make a purchase. So for testing purposes, I've included this blueprint. All you have to do is select a machine, type in which item ID you'd like to purchase. Say I want to purchase A3. And then there's also a check to see if the player has enough funds to make the purchase, but I'm not going to use that for this demo. So I'm just going to click make purchase. The item turns out and then ends up down the bottom here. And then the player can, of course, push the door to access the item. Now, one important thing to note is if you want to interact with these machines with physics, then you want to turn on generate overlap events. So select your static mesh and then type in collision and or generate and then you'll see generate overlap events that has to be turned on for your mesh and then you can interact with the machines. The other way to make a purchase is of course by using the buttons. So we have a keypad here, we have a welcome message, it says please make a selection which you can customize as well. This little sphere here is going to represent my player's fingertip. So if we just zoom in, I'm going to make a purchase from A0. There is a time limit, just like real machines. So we want to go quickly. Let's just go A, move it over, zero, and purchase. Then our little A0 will be purchased down here. And then we have access to both our items down here by pushing the door. And you may be wondering, well, can a player not steal items? Well, no, because each item has a boolean and that identifies if the item has been purchased or not. So you can check in your own blueprint if the item has been purchased and if the player should be able to access it. So that's how to make a pur purchase. And next I want to show you quickly how to set up a machine. So to set up a machine, you can find the blueprint under real vending machine blueprints and then you can drag it into your scene or under place actors here you can type creator or vending machine creator and it'll pop up here and then you can just drag it into your scene like that so i'm just going to rotate this so it's facing us so currently we have a blank machine this machine is using a default config what are configs so if you click on the machine and then we clear this and we take a look at the blueprint details. We don't have a whole list of parameters that we can set on the machine. We just have three parameters here. We have our reload config changes, which is important to click after you make config changes. Then we have the main machine config and the machine items config. So these configs dictate how the machines are displayed, how they operate, which items are present in the machines. And the great thing about the configs is they can be shared between levels, they can be shared between projects, they can be shared between machines. As long as you have the same assets in different projects, you can share the configs between them. So 
Say I want to quickly set up this machine to be one of these example machines. That's not a problem. Let's just move him away a bit. Um, maybe I want to create a duplicate of this machine. So this is example 02. So I'm going to click on my new machine and I'm going to set its machine config to example 02. Great. Now this machine has all the parameters set of this machine. But say I don't want this machine to contain toys. Say I want this machine to contain all the items from this machine. So this machine is example 04. So we can select the item config of example 04. Then if we jump into simulate mode, you can see that this machine is filled with the items of this machine. And you can restock it with whichever items you want. So you can actually create item configs just in mass really, and then apply them to the machine. So this is example machine 01, and then say I want to use that config in here, I can select the item config. Just make sure you're using an item config in the item slot and main config in the main slot. So now if I go into simulate mode, this machine is stacked with all these items. And if I want to stack it with something else, obviously I can. I can change its look. I can jump to one of the other machines. And now it's stocked with these items in this machine. So that's cool, but what does the config contain? So if you click on one of the configs, to open it. Let's take a look. So this is the main machine config. Here you can change everything about the machine, how it looks, how it operates, um, effects. I'm not going to go through every parameter here. There's over 60 parameters here and we've got things like window effects. You can add frost or steam. We've got all the material effects of the outer machine and the inner part of the machine that surrounds the spindles. Uh, we've got side images, which you'll see over here. You can have different side, different side images. Um, there's a lot to go through. You can change spindle types. You can have single or double spindles. You can change the attractor types. And attractors are these on here, which just kind of attract players to the machine. You can have custom meshes or some of the meshes that are included. You can adjust the sound effects and the master volume on those sound effects. So there's quite a lot that you can configure about the machine itself. So once you've got a machine config that you like, you can dive in and start creating some um, items. So once you open an item config, you can duplicate the template items configs or the template machine configs, or you can start from one of the sample machines. So when you first open the item config, you have a whole list of the alphanumeric rows. So this is what item will be on each row. And this is just kind of an overview. So you can kind of see, you know, um, what's in the machine as a whole. And then if you want to jump through and set these up, you just have to click on whichever one you want to set up. And then its parameters will be down here. So this one I wanted to quickly point out, you can set a skeletal mesh. And if you are using a skeletal mesh, you can use a skeletal mesh animation. And then you can also set things like a custom scale. This is for static meshes and skeletal meshes. So if you have an item, it could be a character, it could be anything that you want to minify and then sell in the machine. You don't have to jump out to Blender or Maya or 3ds Max. You can just set a scale here and then you can also set an offset so it sits properly in those little spindles. So if you take a look through here, you can see some of the different things I've set up. As an example, you've got price, you've got a boolean if you want it to be an infinite supply. You can set how many are in the machine. So the machine will hold five and then it will continually spawn them up until this max quantity amount. Um, and that's pretty much it for configs. As I said before, don't forget when you make a machine config or an item config, be sure to click this reload config changes to make sure that all your changes are propagated in the blueprint and they will be visible when you run simulate mode. If you think this asset could be helpful to somebody else who's making a game, please share this video. I'd be very grateful. Um, 
Also like and subscribe because I'm going to be pushing more content in future. If you're interested, check out this on the Unreal Marketplace. If you'd like to reach out and chat about the asset or if you have some feedback or if you have questions or if you want help setting it up, then please reach out on the Discord. I'd be happy to have a chat with you. It's been great talking to you and have a great day. Take care.